Hey everyone, how's it going? So just a quick video today. Um, so although we are in the middle of trying out lots of cards from Wilds of Eldraine, we have had our first look at the next standard set coming in November, which is Lost Caverns of Ixalon. And it's a very exciting news that Cavern of Souls is going to be reprinted in that set, which means it is coming to Explorer and Pioneer for the first time. Now, for those who don't know, Cavern of Souls is a mythic land. You don't see those very often. Um, as it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, and you can add either one colourless or one mana of any colour. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, and that spell can't be countered. So it has that additional clause, unlike some of the other tribal or typal based lands that we've seen. So this is the first time it has been reprinted um, in standard since Avacyn restored, and as I say, it is new to Explorer. So this is very exciting. This is a this is the best uh, tribal land you will find in the game. Um, it provides a massive upgrade to almost every tribal deck imaginable. Um, it opens up huge amounts of possibilities in terms of five color humans. Basically, anything where your creatures are all of a one type um, has just suddenly got a hell of a lot better because of this card. Um, although it doesn't look like a huge amount more than the kind of unclaimed territory secluded courtyard that can't be countered clause is enormously powerful and one of the reasons why this card commands such a fearsome price tag normally hopefully a um a standard reprint will help bring that down a little bit but uh you know it very much acts as the bane of control decks obviously this is a very exciting addition to the format so i thought i'd talk about it now before i do my traditional top 10 cards when we see the full spoilers from ixalon but i imagine this will be at or at or near the top of that top 10 um for sure i've been wondering for a while actually whether they might start reprinting some cards that used to be good in modern um, into Pioneer. You know, now that those cards have been power crept out, um, like Dark Confidence, Snapcaster Mage, that kind of thing. Now, Caverns of, Cavern of Souls isn't quite in that same category because actually uh, it does still, still see play in modern. And whenever tribal decks are good, this card's good. Um, but it is that kind of thing where these are cards which aren't currently in the format but have been very powerful in the past in eternal formats. And now bringing them into Pioneer is very exciting. So, yeah. Cavern of Souls coming in November. Um, and then we've got Ravnica, a Ravnica-based set coming early next year. So maybe that might be an opportunity for something like Dark Confidant to be reprinted. You never know. Uh, but this is a very, uh, very interesting development and one that I'm massively looking forward to because I do love my title decks, um, particularly spirits and things like that. So yeah, we will be jamming, jamming Cavern of Souls in a lot of decks to come. So yeah, let me know what you think of the comments. Are you excited for this reprint? Um, or are you a control player who's dismayed at the very sight of it? Uh, yeah, let's see what people think. And uh, thanks very much for watching.